Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So this week we took a break from planting flowers and spent some time planting our pumpkin patch. Of course, I filmed the entire process from start to finish, and today I wanted to share with you a little behind the scenes of how we actually prepare for our fall season. So like I always say, if you're ready, let's go. years ago when I first started growing flowers I never imagined that we would be growing pumpkins especially on as large of a scale as we currently do. We grow about five or six acres of pumpkins we focus on growing a lot of the specialty and decorative varieties. This year our pumpkin patch will include close to 40 different varieties of pumpkins ranging in size and shape starting with the tiny miniature pumpkins and working our way up to this large hefty stack of bowls and of course, we grow plenty of traditional jack-o'-lanterns as well. So the idea of growing pumpkins, it came about because I was inspired by something that I saw within Florette's Cut Flower Garden Book. If you've read this book before, then you know that inside there's a small section dedicated to pumpkins, squashes, and gourds. And of course, there's plenty of beautiful pictures that go along with that section. And honestly, I saw those pictures and I just fell in love with the idea of growing specialty heirloom pumpkins for myself. And the more that I thought about it, the more that I started to believe that pumpkins could be a great way for me to extend my flower season. During my first year of business as a flower farm, I was selling flowers primarily from our little roadside stand. I knew that my season would end with the first frost because we didn't have any grow space within a heated greenhouse or even an unheated hoop house. So that I knew that as soon as that first frost hit, which for us usually happens in early October, I would no longer have fresh product to sell. And so I thought by growing pumpkins that I might be able to make a little bit of money for a few extra weeks. Originally, I just wanted to grow a few rows of pumpkins within my garden. I had a little bit of extra room and I was thinking that I could fit maybe 20 or 30 plants in there and that was it. It's funny looking back, I often say that God must have had a different plan that season because I remember sharing my idea with my boss. For those of you who don't know, I work a full-time job as a dairy farmer in addition to flower farming. And so I was talking to my boss about this idea that I had, and honestly, I'm not even sure the sequence of events that happened next, but somehow during that conversation, the idea of growing just 20 or 30 pumpkins, it grew to be this much bigger project. I ended up running farmland for my boss and that first fall season we grew about four acres worth of pumpkins. We packed our little farm stand with so many pumpkins that year and thankfully our community showed up in a big way to really support us. I'll be honest, we sold way more pumpkins that year than I ever thought that we would and that was when I knew that fall could really be a profitable season for us. Maybe you're in that same boat, you're a flower farmer looking to extend your season somehow or maybe you just want an inside peek into what it takes to stock a fall farm stand. Well, in this video, I wanted to share a little bit of that behind the scenes with you. I'll be honest, this will be our third season growing pumpkins, and I am in no way an expert. I'll admit that I'm very fortunate in this pumpkin growing adventure that I'm on to have friends that are much more knowledgeable about this pumpkin stuff than I am and I mean without them sort of showing us the ropes I don't know where where we'd be so maybe this video can sort of you know pay it forward by showing you what I've learned these past few years so if you're ready let me take you out to our 2022 pumpkin patch okay so here she is the 2022 pumpkin patch a lot of ground to work these next couple days um, we're gonna go all the way back to that grass line right there it's a little deceiving because there's a small hill but lots and lots of area to cover. So pumpkins, or squash in general, are what we call heavy feeders, meaning they require a lot of nutrients to grow. Normally we give our pumpkin patch a good layer of manure before we plant, but this season in particular it was just a little bit too wet for us to get in the ground early enough to spread that manure. So we're also putting on added fertilizer which came from our local co-op.
Next up, we're working this field with a very shallow till. This allows us to work in that fertilizer that we just spread, and it also helps with weed control. We want to give our pumpkin seeds the best chance at outpacing any weeds that may develop, and so disturbing that top layer of soil helps to kill off any weeds that may have already germinated. For the actual planting part of this process, I'm using this single row pumpkin planter that a friend of mine generously allows me to use. It's a pretty basic planter, but it works great for us. Inside there's a seed plate which I can swap out depending on the seed size that I'm planting. There's also sprockets at the bottom of this planter that allows me to change the distance at which seeds are dropped. While I like to give our jack-o'-lanterns plenty of space to grow, our miniature pumpkins don't necessarily need that same amount of space, and so I plant them much closer together. The planter itself is just pulled behind the tractor, it digs a trench, a seed is dropped, and then that small wheel and back is what covers the seed with soil. It's a little bit of a slow process with a single row planter, but it sure beats planting by hand. So I will gladly sit in that tractor for the 12 to 14 hours it takes to plant our entire field. Lastly, we use a post-plant pre-emergent on our entire pumpkin patch. The purpose of this spray is again for weed control. In simple terms, the spray helps to create a chemical barrier in the soil that recently germinated seeds cannot break through. This means that young pumpkin plants start the season with little competition from weeds, which allows them to become well established and get in a few weeks of good growth. By the time later in the season when that pre-emergent is no longer active, the pumpkin plants are usually large enough where they're able to outcompete any late season weeds. While a pre-emergent spray is obviously convenient and can help us reduce our labor in the field as the pumpkins are growing, it can also be useful for soil health as we're not having to continuously cultivate and disturb our field in some way. 
Well, there you have it. Everything about how we planted our 2022 pumpkin patch here at Two Sisters Flower Farm. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Now, later in the season, I'll be sure to update you guys on the progress of our pumpkin patch with another video. But in the meantime, if you like more regular updates, then I encourage you to follow us over on Instagram where I share more consistent progress reports within stories almost every day. Now, that is all for me. Let me just say thank you once again for tuning in. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.